It was exactly one year ago to the day that a mass shooting shook a Norfolk community to its core. Five women were shot in the Young Terrace neighborhood. Three of them died. Neighbors rallied together calling for a change to make the streets safer. News 3's Antoinette Delbell was there that night those women were killed and returned to the scene today. And she joins us live from Whitaker Lane. Annie, I know you've talked to folks in the neighborhood. What has changed? Well, Barbara Kurt, so many people I spoke with that disturbing night and the days following, they tell me that their lives were changed forever. You can see that a new memorial now marks a spot where those women, innocent bystanders, were shot and killed. And I remember a year ago, this fence, this entire fence was filled with stuffed animals, notes, just memories, pictures. There was so much love and support. You could feel it here. I caught up with some of those same neighbors I spoke with a year ago and sadly they tell me not much has changed here. They still don't feel safe. We haven't forgot about them. One year later, the memories still painful. Anybody who's on a low priority event in this precinct needs to head over here now. November 3rd, 2021, a horrific night many who live here will never forget. I've never witnessed anything like that in my life. It was like a movie. It felt so unreal. Three women killed, two other women hurt in the Young Terrace neighborhood. Nicole Lovewine, her partner Deidre Brown, and their neighbor Sarah Costine, all in their 40s, shot dead, leaving the community broken and shattered by the senseless gun violence. A lot of the neighbors are still afraid, you know, when we come through and I talk to them. And every time there's a shooting that's close, that maybe across the street or something, it, it triggers something. Miss Sarah was laying here. This woman, who asked us not to use her name, knew two of the victims for years and remembers seeing her friends dead on the ground. And on this somber anniversary, this friend makes a new memorial, wearing pictures of the woman close to her heart. Because I know this is a hard day again this morning because they are reliving this whole thing again. And as the pain lingers, families say they don't feel any safer. Nothing has changed. It's unsafe. At night, we know we got to hurry up and get to the house. Every day, you hear the same shots. It's not safe for our babies to be out here playing at all. A community activist with Guns Down has been working with families and children to find solutions. He says kids need more things to do and this neighborhood needs more attention. Everybody has to get involved. You know, not just when a situation happens and just for a photo op and then everybody's going their way. This is an everyday thing that you got to, you know, tackle. And I spoke with the families of those women who were killed and they tell me they're still healing and they hope this tragedy brings awareness to the gun violence epidemic. As for the shooter, his lawyer tells me he's still in jail and he's being mentally evaluated. Live in Norfolk, Antoinette Delbell, News 3.